Hi, how are you doing? My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's kind of it's kind of misty and rainy where I'm at on the coast of Oregon, but it's beautiful. And I hope it's awesome and sunny wherever you are, or it's misty and rainy if you want it that way. Some people like it this way. I, I would like to see some sun. I'm ready for some sun. <laughs> it's been about three or four days. But what I want to talk about in this video is pen pals and the reason why I was bringing it up is I was looking at other people's like like um, people that were commenting on mine um, my videos and I was looking on their you know their sites to see what you know what they videos they have and a lot of times it's weird because it's nothing there's no information there's no videos so I'm like okay maybe they're just watching stuff they don't actually post anything and all their stuff is set for private which is fine and then there's like email addresses. I'm like, oh, that's cool. You could email them and stuff. And I'm like, how come my email doesn't show up? I don't know if it shows up on anybody else's feed, but it's not showing up on mine. When I go to my about on my homepage, you know, I go across videos and all that stuff. And I'm sorry about the hand. <laughs> and basically, you know, I go into my about and it just says, you know, protector of the line, blah, blah, blah. And when I, when I started and, and that's it. And then it says how many... Um, views or something that's it there's no um, there's no email address so people can actually interact with me here's the thing no man no woman and no non-binary non-gender specific entity is an island so we all are in it together and so I understand it's it's good to communicate I mean you don't want people to get all crazy and stuff or you know the, the haters that are just nasty snarky people to, to be emailing you all the time but you don't have to answer the email either right I've taught I've have videos about that where energy exchange can come from email so it's important only accept emails from people who you want to and that gets me to my point of um, pen pals it reminded me when I was a kid when I was in like junior high not even elementary junior high it was more elementary like the sixth grade fifth grade and I was at Woodrow Wilson Elementary School, right down the street from my house, when I was living with my dad. And we had pen pals from all over the world. They'd try to get you, you know, indie or whatever. And I and I was thinking about that. And we had it pretty good in America at that time. I'm just saying, I gotta admit, like in the eighties it was it was pretty sweet. Early eighties it was we were doing good. America was, you know, prosperous and you know, kids were pretty spoiled, right? I mean not me so much, but in general, you know, the population, the kids at school were all really spoiled and had it good and stuff like that. And then you'd have these pen pals from these poor kids in India and stuff. And I can only imagine the exchanges had to have been awkward because you got these kids from third world countries and they're like, they're lucky if they've eaten in a week, right? And then you got these kids like, I just went to the mall and I just had ice cream and oh my God, I was hanging out with my friends and we went to the movies and this kid's like, I can relate to that. It's like, I'm just lucky I got some bread, right? It's like, it's had to have been an awkward. I know it didn't last long. It was, I don't know. It's like one of those scenes that the school's pushed and it was like, okay. And you just go along with it as a kid, right? Unfortunately. But it was, I mean, it was cute. The idea was the concept was cute. And pen pals has always been an interesting thing. And in the past, that's correspondence. That's basically what they would call it. When, when it was usually lovers, like a husband and wife would correspond during war or whatever. And they'd have love letters and those were really famous now. I mean, there's like civil war lo love letters and, you know, Napoleonic war lo letters and things that, you know, just from like soldiers to their wives and, you know, back and forth, that kind of thing, which is always sweet and wonderful and romantic and, the only probably the only positive aspect of war is the longing and missing of loved ones, and the in the trip, but you know it's usually tragic anyway. So I digress. So pen pals. So yeah, I'm looking for pen pal. I don't mind having pen pals. I mean, I'll figure it out. Um, my I can just tell you my and I'll probably post it. My email address is robinhoodiest1 at gmail. And the reason why it is what it is, is I love Robin Hood, and I've had Robin Hood as an as a email address before, but apparently it's gotten really hot. And so I had to really be creative to actually be able to have a password that I wanted, that I would like a, a email that I was proud of, right? So I figured, fuck it, let's do Robin Hoodiest, I-E-S-T-1, at Gmail, by the way, 
And yeah, I don't mind people interacting with me, sending me emails and discussing things in privacy because a lot of times when you, it's, it's hard to, to send people messages and to, to for, you know, it's because you got to remember everybody else sees it too. So you got to be careful what you say and, you know, I mean, it's, it sucks, but at the same time, it's like that there's a sense of publicity and it's not private and, and I understand that aspect of my life as an artist. I'm public. So if somebody comes up to me and talks to me, I got to spill the beans. That's what it comes down to as an artist. The more interesting my, I am to them, the more interest they are going to be in buying my art. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a cool story to tell, then tell it. You know, don't be shy. I mean, what have, what have I got to hide, right? I mean, I'll, I'll tell. I'll just tell it how it is. And this is my life. This is what's going on. And this has inspired me to do this and that. And the more, but, but like I said, I am public domain. When I'm out there selling my art, I can't just not talk to people. I can't just open up. I just kind of be, you know, cold. Because that's not how you make sales. You make sales by being personable and friendly and open. And so I have to actually be able to do that, which is an energy exchange. And that's a whole separate thing, which is why I couldn't do it every day. But I'm excited about doing it this weekend. And I have had in the past had good luck at Newport. And the energy exchange is always nice. People like either just ignore it or they'll make comments and say it's really beautiful or whatever. Which is nice. I mean, nobody's discouraging it. It's just either people care or they don't. And that's wonderful. So I'm going to go do that and have some fun with it. And hopefully interact and meet people. And, you know, if I can email people and email, people want to email me, that's fine. I'm cool with it. I, I mean, I'm not scared of contact. Like I said, as long as you're respectful and it's, you know, you know, I'm not looking for booty calls. I don't, I don't want, you know, I'm not into that. My last one did me just enough to where I'm, I'm good. I'm not gonna, I'm looking for forever. I want the, you know, and that's a tough one. That's a tough gig. If you're trying to look for the one or even somebody that's, you know, you can tolerate. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while. I'm, I've been out of the game for a while, so I don't know if I'm even... Wish me luck because I'm going to need it. Trust me. Anyway. Well, you don't need it because you're awesome. Whoever you are. I'm just saying that. Am I kissing ass? Sure. Whatever. But I want you to have a wonderful day and think about pen pals. It's, it's a fun thing. It's a, We should get into it. People need to learn cursive writing again. Oh, my God. I love cursive writing. Even now more than ever just because people don't do it. So it's a lost art. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I love you. God loves you in the universe. It's still digging you in those jeans, baby. So have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.